in the penitentiary, y'all don't care nothing about me, do you? He unzipped the fanny pack, pow, pulled out a flip, a flip phone. Pow. He said, I got the phone for you. I said, I said, no way. Man, what is, what is, what is, what is? He said, straight out the evidence locker. He said, the only thing I need you to do right now, he said, you call or you can text. He said, the only thing I need to do is see you put the number in. I said, man, I'm not touching that, man. What is wrong with you? I said, man, I'm not touching that, bro. He said, that's all you got to do. He said, I have you on the bus going down there. I said, man, I don't know nothing about none of that, bro. I don't know, I don't know nothing about nothing. I said, I'll tell you what. I said, you give me that phone. Let me go back to the unit. He said, no, nah, I can't let you do that. He said, what? He said, I, he said, I'll tell you what. What if I come and get you tonight? Take you down now. And then it hit me right there to them. I said, they shipping me. <laughs> I said, oh, the one that put in the emergency transfer, this is y'all last opportunity to get me to tell something so y'all can fire this woman. Because if you don't get me tonight, get what? I'm going to be gone. And when I'm gone, you ain't going to have nobody to tell you nothing. I said, y'all done got a little desperate, ain't you? He said, I, he said, I'll be to get you tonight. I said, I didn't agree to that. He said, I'll be to get you tonight. I'll be to get you. I said, what's up? So we leave. When I leave, I go back to the unit because I understand something about the penitentiary. They going to talk. So when I get back to the unit, get what? I round up all the, the gang members. I, I go holler at all the gang members. The Crip, the Blood, the Vice Lord, the Aaron Nation, the MC-13. I holler, I holler at all of them. Hey, I the neutral. You know what I'm saying? Whoever. The punks. Hey, 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 hey I need y'all. Hey, I need y'all. I need y'all. Come on, my see. I need to holler at y'all about something. So when I call them up to the cell, I got about eight, nine people in the cell with me. You know what I'm saying? So I sit down on the stool. I say, look, I'm going to say this before I even start talking. You know what I'm saying? I already know it's going to be some it's gonna be some people in here who's going to be real upset about what I'm going to say. I said, but I'm only saying that because I already know what type of penitentiary games is going on. I got to get in front of the game because I know as soon as I say this, it's going to be somebody in here who's going to try to use this against me like I done did some sideways when really I'm just telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? They're going to take my words and twist them. So I was like, look, check this out. They're going to come in here tonight. They're going to search me. They have already said they're coming to search me. They're going to pull me out of the cell and they're going to take me down to the, to the, uh, to the to intake. As soon as I started explaining, to one of the dudes, a crip, he hollered, hold, oh, hold on, hold on, cuz. Hold on, cuz. He done walked toward me. He said, cuz, so you sit here want us to believe that you ain't the police and you telling us that the police told you they coming in the unit tonight. They gonna come and search a few cells. Then they gonna come and get you because they trying to make it look like it ain't what it looked like. I said, I stood up. I'm looking at him, he looking at me, we looking at Joe. I said, that's exactly what I said. I said, but it's dudes like you who finna try to flip this because you wanna either get to the gal or you want to move and you finna try to make everybody in this room feel some type of way about me. When the only reason I called you in here is to let everybody know they need to secure their stuff tonight and to give you enough time. I said, if I was the police, remember they got the eye in the sky. Get what? They could be watching on the camera right now. And I said, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I'm that slow, why would I call y'all in here to even put you up on game? Because Whatever was finna go down, it was gonna work to my benefit if I wanted to work to my benefit. I said, I didn't have to call not now one of y'all in here. I said, but it's dudes like you who trying to make these people believe that I'm the police and everybody in here know I ain't the police. He was like, man, just don't sound right to me, cuz. Don't sound right to me. Didn't nobody say nothing because everybody knew what I was talking about because it's always cross house in the penitentiary. And when cross house happened in the penitentiary, it's always because somebody done made a majority of the time. It's because it's a, either about a woman or it's about a sack. And either way it go, you done made up something or you done created some type of rumor and you done made everybody else believe something that probably wasn't even true. And get what done happened? Somebody done got stabbed and somebody got sent to the back. And now all of a sudden somebody else trying to get what it was that you had going on. And that's exactly what he was trying to do. So after the, after the Meeting was a journey. Huh, dramatic effect, me believe. All of them leave out of the cell. Nighttime hit. My cell is working the chow hall. He coming in from third shift. Soon as he come in, I asked, I said, man, you see the green team out there? He don't even know what's finna go down yet. So I started telling him because he been at work all day. He was like, man, he was like, for real? I said, yeah, they talking about. And soon as I'm telling him, they how green team on the rock, green team on the rock, green. They run in. They do exactly what they told me. These folks go and search three or four cells. Then they come and search my cell. They pull my cell. They pull me out first. Strip search my cell. They tell I hear him squatting call. He take the clothes off. He <coughs> and once he get through, they pull me in the cell. When they pull me in the cell, they pull the door up all the way. He looking at me. I'm looking at him. We looking at each other. He said, you ready? I said, ready for what? He said, we finna go down here. I said, yeah, I guess I ain't got no choice to do it. 
He said, yeah, he said, don't worry about your stuff. He said, they're going to pack up your stuff. They're going to sit it down there by the, uh, what's the name, you know what I'm saying? They're going to sit it down there, and then they'll, they'll bring it down there to you. He said, I don't think we just going to walk you out like we done caught you caught you with something here. I said, what's up? So he said, turn around. I got a coffee. And I'm thinking, I said, man, this is crazy. So I turn around. <laughs> He put the cuffs on the commercial break me, please. If you ain't already got the book, I need you to go get the book. Go to JTB3.org. So when he put the cuffs on, he walked me out the, in the unit, in the park. When he walk, walked me out in the park, all everybody is still up. You know what I'm saying? The green team is here. So everybody is standing on the door. You're looking at a, over 100 and something inmates, and it was that one crib dude. He's standing down. He he ain't too far from my cell. And he get on the door. He said, man, I told y'all, man. Soon as he said that, I'm already knowing where this is going. And when I said, I, I'm looking over there. Ain't too much I can say. I know what it looked like. I'm walking. He said, man, I told y'all. So by the time I get to go down the stairs, his cell is right there by the stair. So I look over at him. And when I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. We're looking at each other. He said, man, I told y'all he was a rat, man. I told y'all he was the police, man. Don't tell the police. So when he say that, of course, I felt a sense of fear. Not only that, but I knew I couldn't even defend myself at this point. And he done said it to everybody. And majority of the time, the inmate, they gonna cling on to the negativity just like into the world. Commercial break me, please. For some reason, we live in a world where our brain tends to gravitate towards the negative information and the negative advice more than anything in the world. And, and the reason that is, is because people don't like to look within themselves. So they always try to paint an uglier picture of something else and when people see that uglier picture where they don't have to look at themselves they tend to go ahead and grab hold of to what's uglier therefore they don't have to deal with themselves i seen what britney griner got got sentenced to nine years and i looked at how many people had shared this information and i said to myself as soon as i said that i said if it was some people who were sharing that they just started a business or they had a product or they was about to or, or they were going through a life they were going through a transformation in life i said you wouldn't get that ministry you wouldn't get that many like you wouldn't get you wouldn't get that big of a conversation I said because this is something negative for some reason it spread like wildfire and that's the same way it was in the penitentiary that's the same way it is on the streets now something could happen to me right now the whole entire world was shared in the blink of an eye my book sales will go up in the blink of an eye it's people who've been following me and watching me from the beginning who probably have not supported me and bought a book yet but if they hear it right now now I had a car wreck or something happened. I got shot. Something negative. You know what I'm saying? Or I got caught when I went to the pen or something. Just something bad. And everybody started to share it. Guess what? My book sales will go up. My streams will go up. Everything. My clothes. My clothing will go up. Guess what? My following on TikTok will go from 600 to something to a million. Probably overnight. My subscription right now is at 80 something going to almost tapping on 90. It'll go from that 80 something to probably 150. My Instagram followers in that 40 something thousand that 40 some thousand are trying to turn into a hundred all because something negative was put out there and all of these people now is looking for who they talking about looking for who they talking about but when they say oh he did 10 years in prison he got out he changed his life he do motivational speaking he do inspiration he encouraged people he do ministry he started he been out of the way he started a clothing line he wrote five books he did this and that that don't spread the same way as something Negative, but soon it let some negative go right now. You, you pay attention to these rappers who died. Who some people didn't even know they didn't even know Mo3. Mo3 died, and they talked about how his streams went out of the roof. Same thing with Young Dolph. Young Dolph got killed, they said his streams went out of the roof. Everybody knew Michael Jackson, but even when Michael Jackson died, they said his streams went out of the roof. Yellow Bees, at the time that he got shot, once he got shot, the negative information spread it out. His streams went out of the roof. It's always something. 50 Cent, he had a rap career before we even knew him. He gets shot nine times. Pop, 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 pop. He gets shot. Next thing you know, get rich and die, try and drop. He the biggest artist in the world. At the time, listen to me. That's What's wrong with the 